Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me today. I want to make you aware of a certain story. You've probably heard about it, but I want to give you a breakdown uh, of the changing police narrative of why a black man was shot to death in an Alabama mall. There's tw he's 21 year old Emantic Bradford. Now Thanksgiving night, police report a shooting at the River Chase Galleria Mall, and that's an upscale up, upscale mall south of Birmingham. Friday night, police say the suspect was killed. Police said two men got into a fight and one got shot twice in the upper body and one was brandishing a gun. Friday morning, police say the subject was killed. Friday night, police say Bradford probably wasn't the shooter. Police say that Mr. Bradford was brandishing a handgun and police shot him. Monday morning, police say with certainty Mr. Bradford brandished a gun. They say that again. That's what happened. Later Monday morning, Bradford didn't necessarily Brandish a gun, says the police. Now, the meaning to brandish is to wave or show in an aggressive manner. Bradford was actually trying to help the victims to safety. Later Monday morning, Bradford didn't necessarily brandish a gun. That's what the police are saying. See how the story flip-flops? Monday evening, the shooter is still out there because Emantic Bradford did not shoot anyone. He was, uh, he had a permit to carry the gun. He was a soldier. And so, of course, he had a permit to carry the gun. He, he had the right to carry that gun just as much as the police did. The story goes back and forth. The family is saying that they have not apologized. They have not contacted them. Uh, they're still waiting for someone to contact them. Uh, the officers should have a uh, body cam. So there's footage of it. Uh, there's an investigation going on. Uh, I'm wondering if they're trying to doctor that footage up to uh, doctor it up to uh, make it seem like, you know, uh, this particular footage is, is, is not legible or, you know, audible or, you know, vis visibly, uh, they're not visibly able to see what really went down, but there's supposed to be an investigation and they're telling the family to be patient. Well, as the family stated, their patience is running out. Their 21 year old son a serviceman had been killed for no reason. He was trying to help. He was not involved in any kind of altercation with anyone. Now, the two people uh, that was shot by the uh, the uh, gunman, and the, and like I said, the gunman is the gunman is out there. Uh, he, nothing. They haven't caught him yet. Well, the two and the 12 year old girl that was a, a straight bullet hit her, both of them are, they survived. 
So the police see a black man with a gun and automatically assume he's a criminal. Hmm. Somebody was just trigger happy. Like they were in Ferguson, like they were like they were in, in Charlotte, uh like it was with Trayvon Martin. The assumption is to sh- assume guilt automatically because the color of your skin. Automatically, you're guilty. Did not evidently somebody, the police, acted too quickly made the wrong assumptions but now a young man that haven't that had the re- had the rest of his life to explore to get married to have children a career grow old but now he's dead because of a trigger happy policeman that assumed a black man is guilty before innocence. They could have subdued him if they thought. And when they they knew that this man was not brandishing a weapon, they knew that. They could have subdued him even you know that would be wrong he wasn't doing anything he he was trying to help the victims to safety but even even then if they had an inkling that he was up to something they could have subdued him given him a chance to explain but no they shot first, then they want to ask questions later and investigate later. There will not be an investigation uh, if this young man was uh, alive because I'm sure he could have gotten, uh, uh, gave them some information that would clearly show he was not involved. This is happening too much, guys. Uh, it's it's time it's time to stop the madness. It's time. Uh, there's been a few cases, but the policeman that fired that shot, or the policemen that fired the shots, should be taken to trial, convicted, and sent to prison. Actually, the death penalty. That's not friendly fire. You know, when you go to war and you get shot by your, your own, shot and killed by your, your own, or, or just shot by your own, uh, uh, your fellow, uh, uh, your fellow soldiers. That's, well, it wasn't anything friendly about this. This was on purpose, guys. This was on purpose purpose and I don't really care what that cam say because I don't trust that body cam I really don't trust it but you know we'll see what happens you know we will see so that is uh, what I have for today and uh, please subscribe if you haven't Uh, I uh, will try my best to just bring you relevant and interesting stories. I wish I didn't have to bring you this particular one because this young man is 21 and he's gone. So uh, I will bring you another story and thank you for joining me and everyone have a good evening. Good night.